On March 28th, the U.S. Departments of Health and Human Services, Labor, and Treasury finalized a rule that cracks down on junk insurance plans. The rule was first proposed in July of 2023, and it rolls back the duration of short-term insurance plans. These are frequently called junk plans because they are lower quality plans. They are allowed to discriminate against people for pre-existing conditions, and they are not comprehensive coverage. They don't have to follow a lot of the Affordable Care Act's mandates that comprehensive insurance has to follow. Now, these plans were intended to be temporary solutions when they first came on the market. They are not comprehensive coverage, and that sometimes means people end up with surprise medical bills for services that are not covered. Junk plans were limited under the Obama administration, but expanded under the Trump administration. Under the Trump administration, they were allowed to last up to a year and be extended for up to three years. What this finalized rule does is actually shrink that time frame right back down. The plan cannot be for longer than three months with only the opportunity of one extra month of renewal. Plans cannot mimic comprehensive health coverage, and they must disclose the limits of their coverage. The agencies were quite concerned with confusion, people thinking they were buying comprehensive coverage just based on marketing or wording, when instead the plans should make it much more clear that they are indeed limited short-term plans. This rule applies to short-term plans sold on or after September 1st, 2024. Customers covered by short-term plans sold before then will be subject to the old rules. And the new rules don't limit the sale of short-term plans during the Affordable Care Act's open enrollment period. So again, be sure not to be confused. In a statement, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Secretary Becerra said, HHS, Health and Human Services, is cracking down on junk insurance plans to help consumers make informed choices and avoid mistakenly paying for a plan that does not provide them the coverage or protection they expect. You can read that finalized rule. We link to it in the description below.